Today we're going to do a bit more of an expanded version on the lock lap pull. What I use this for a lot of times is to work with getting good shoulder stability. So after we do the big three, which of course you've seen before, what I'm looking at here is getting the lat to become a really good anchor for the shoulder girdle. Because one of the problems we tend to have is people overuse their upper trap a lot of the time. That's where a lot of our problems and compensations come. So we're going to be working on the lock lat pull. Now the concept behind the lat pull here is the lat has shoulder extension. It also has spinal lateral flexion. Of course, it has the adduction as well. So putting these all together and getting the best position we can, I came up with this particular exercise. It's the most effective exercise you'll ever find for really feeling where the lat belly is. Of course, you'll see that on the anatomy that follows this actual demonstration. So let's just go straight into it, the lock lat pull, and I'll show you how it works. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep a nice mid prone grip, very neutral grip. I step back and take a little bit of weight off the cable. I push the hips back. So I've got a nice line through here, and all I do is I draw the elbow down to the pelvis, and then I laterally flex into it. So here we are, we're getting the shoulder extension, adduction, lateral flexion. As I come down, hold for one, two, second. Elbow down, laterally flex into it, one, two, second. You'll notice with the hand, the hand stays in mid position the whole time. Now, the problem that a lot of people have is as they do this, they'll supinate. Essentially, they're using their bicep. We don't want to do that. We just want to draw the elbow down to the pelvis, laterally flex in, feel it, and hold. All right, cameraman, you can come up from behind so people can see it from behind. That's better. Good. Drawing into it, great. So that's the essence of the perfect lat pull. Now we do it as a unilateral exercise because of course there's a lat on each side of the body and if you're going to laterally flex, you've got to do it one side at a time. That's why the traditional lat machine fixes you in, doesn't allow you to get that contraction which you want to get with the lateral flexion. It's about getting a good connection with your lats and then we transfer this often into the bench press. So once I've got the lats, we'll say activated and turned on, we can then cue it into the bench press where we're making the arch perform pulling the shoulder blade down towards the butt and we're stabilizing the shoulder. So the lat, lock lat pull, super important exercise to play with. And now I'll get a little bit of anatomy just to show you, as you can see on the skeleton, how it all fits together. Hope that helps. So with the lat pull here, you can see where the lat belly, I just lit it up all there. You can see that the lat belly is actually quite large and it's always actually more, as you can see, towards the spine. I can't quite show the lateral flexion movement on this model here, but you can get to see how with that unilateral lat pull, that it gives you a lovely complete motion where you can really get the lat belly activated and contracted, which you can't do with a bilateral movement. It's a super big muscle and it's important for stabilizing the shoulder girdle. Really good, once again, as I've always said, for decreasing impingement as well.